Okay, before I explain to you what I have here, uh, let me make a statement. I wish that if someone was going to replicate my work, that they would replicate it. In other words, attempts to have inventor's license or the freedom to do it the way you want is not a replication. And I do not really appreciate it when someone tries to replicate it and says, oh, can't get it to work when you're not doing it correctly. So anyway, that's been said now. Here's my diode loop that I showed in the last video with the 100 microamp meter on it. And I have the I have 12 1 in 4148s here. And I have this white lead right here completing the loop. I have the SFM, which for all practical purposes are, is the same as the quantum receiver. And here is an LED from the generator. The one generator lead will follow it on up there. Right there. So it comes down, makes a loop, comes back. We're only using the one lead. There's absolutely no light coming out of the lead that's connected to the set of magnets, which is magnetically connected to this magnetic ring, so there's absolutely no electrical connection between the generator and the loop. And as you can see, we obviously have light coming out of that, that LED. So why wouldn't you expect to see light here? Shouldn't we see something? Because if the generator is actually putting it in, we've got to have some kind of a voltage drop across it. But there's absolutely no indication of any light in that lead. And yes, that is a good lead. It's not one that's been damaged to make a simulation here. So anyway, there's 12 1 and 4148s with an SFM or quantum energy receiver, however you want to look at it. I know it looks weird, it looks impractical, it looks impossible, but it's pretty damn hard to refute what I can show with them, isn't it? Anyway, thanks.